Welcome back to the Cross Creek Cut. I'm Brad Downing. Today it's June 4th. We're in uh, Windfall, Indiana, just in Tipton County here. And this is the same spot we came to you guys about a month ago in the uh, May 5th planning when we were actually testing all the different Inferro products against each other, also different rates with Inferro. Also within this 90 acre field, we did the two by two by two study where we turned it off and on. And then we turned it off and on with Inferro on and off. And then on top of that, we tested the two by two with different products in there with Humica Enhance and then adding them at different rates. So a lot of different studies in this field. There's actually four different iterations at uh, six to eight checks uh, all the way through the field. What I wanna show you guys is what's interesting is I'm going across this field, there's been some major differences and a lot of things visually that we could see. Obviously where we shut the two by two by two off, uh, the corn is a much paler color. It doesn't look as healthy. And where we shut the liquid completely off, no in furrow, no two by two, anything. Uh, we're gonna show you some pictures of this and that corn looks really sick. I mean, it's really struggled coming out of the ground. It's had some issues. And uh, actually I'm gonna pass it to Kyle right now in the field for him to talk to you about what they're seeing. And uh, I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Yeah, thanks for letting us know about the studies you've got going on out here. Uh, um, right here where I'm at, I'm on the split, um, right here on the line to my left. We've got two by two and in furrow to my right. We've just got two by two, um, no in furrow turned on here. Um, so just some real stark visual differences you guys can see. Uh, what we've got going on here is a lower line area. Um, we've had some ponding water here. Uh, as you can see to my right here with no in furrow turned on, we've got some uneven emergence, just overall some plants that are struggling and right to the split directly to my left where we've got the in furrow turned on uh, a lot more even emergence a lot better plant health um, overall really what we're showing and what we're seeing here is that in furrow um, just given the, the extra hunts that these plants need to to get through this wet cooler temperatures that we've been having and really get into that two by two Well, thanks for that information, Kyle. Always good to hear from the field. And actually, he's out there walking and checking these trials right now while I'm going back and forth. And actually, I'm sitting here waiting on the uh, tanker to get here so we can fill up again and finish this field. But where we're heading right now is we're actually going to be heading to Grant County, Indiana, to do a side rest study. Much like you saw in the 2x2 two two and the 2x2x2 two 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 study and the infro studies in this field we showed you, uh, we'll be studying the effects of Humica versus Enhance and also Humica and Enhance added together along with our standard program of 45 gallons of UAN 28 solution and four gallons of ammonium thiosol, which is where we get our sulfur from. And then obviously we have boron standard at our pint rate, which is our B10 boron. Uh, we'll be looking at the effects of Humica Enhance and them together in conjunction at different rates of that field in Grand County. So stay tuned for that. Um, that. That information will be in the yield information come fall time, but we're pretty excited about what we saw out here today in this field here in uh, Tipton County. A lot of differences, a lot of big challenges um, that we saw with, you know, where we had no liquid on with a planter. Um, I really, really am glad I have liquid on our planter. Um, the, the fields that we've had that look great, the fields that we've had that were passes within this field that look good. Um, the two by two is definitely paying out. That's very obvious. The infurrow, you can really easily see that infurrow is driving those roots to get to that two by two and get to that nitrogen early and make it available for the plant. So um, like we always said, you know, liquid's a big deal, but understand the products that you're using within your liquid program is an even bigger deal. So if you want more information on that, call us at any time, call Kyle or myself or check our website and check out our research book. Um, guys, foliar season's coming up uh, right now. I mean, these plants are getting to the point where the we need to start thinking about what we're going to be doing to help drive yield and continue to, you know, maintain the yield that we have out here and uh, deal with, you know, uh, leaf disease or any kind of pressures or anything we're dealing with that. How do we make these plants healthy? How do we keep them more robust and keep them healthier so they can, too, fight off those kind of diseases? And uh, we don't have to rely on fungicides or insecticides maybe as much 
if we can keep that plant healthy all the way to that time. So if you got questions, please give us a call and uh, we'd be glad to work with you and look forward to this time and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one and be safe.